Hi, welcome to Chick Food TV. I'm Patty Malcolm, and today I'm going to show you how to make a chilled avocado cucumber soup. Recently, we were in Costa Rica, one of my favorite places on the planet, and in Nocera, there's the Bodhi Tree Yoga Institute that I love to do yoga at, and I also love to eat there. They have an amazing juice bar and a salad bar that's very plant strong with organic, locally produced vegetables and produce. It's just amazing. Um, when we were there this last time, they had an avocado chilled soup that also had cucumber in it. and. I loved it so much, I could have went back every day and had it. It was very refreshing, but filling at the same time. So as soon as we got home, I started working on my own version of the soup, and I've eaten it several times since we've been back. So I thought I would show you how to make my version of it. So let's talk about ingredients, what you need. It's actually pretty simple, not a lot. Um, you need two scallions, two green onions, chopped. Let's just use the white and the light green parts. Um, juice of one small lemon. If it's a large lemon, just use half because it could get a little too much lemony flavor in there. Um, one clove of garlic, one avocado, one and one half Persian cucumber, uh, organic chopped and then we're just going to use some salt and pepper to taste and then a nice big handful of cilantro and then some water just to blend it to get to the consistency that you want and then we're going to garnish it with some other stuff later but let's get into blending and I'm going to start with putting the cucumber and put my avocado I usually make this in my larger Vitamix container so I'm it fits. Might be a little much, which would be a total bummer. Put my scallion in. I'm going to start with half of this until we blend it down a little bit. My juice of lemon. I'm going to put the garlic clove in there. And then, you know, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper now, a little bit of salt now, and then we'll adjust more after we taste it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water just to start, don't use it all, just to get to the consistency that you like. I'm going to start it on low. Add a little bit more. Just blend it for a few minutes, I know it's hard to hear. <laughs> okay, let's check it and see where we're at. Okay, I think I'm liking this consistency. Let me grab a spoon here. It's getting there, it's really good. I'm just gonna put a little more black pepper, a little more salt. Now you can also put a jalapeno in here, just take the seeds out. If you like it really hot, keep the seeds in, but a jalapeno gives it a little bit of kick. Okay, let's check it, okay. That looks pretty good. I just splashed myself. <laughs> a little green soup on my eye. Yeah, that's really good. And it's just gonna get better when we chill it. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to a bowl or a measuring container in this case. And then we are going to just put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes minimum. Now you can refrigerate it for hours, but just make sure you refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes just to get a nice chill on it. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna garnish it and serve it and taste it. Hi there, so I just chilled our soup for about 30 minutes, a little bit more, and now I'm just ready to serve it and garnish. While it was chilling, I toasted some pepitas um, which is the same as pumpkin seeds. You can still kind of hear them popping, they're still hot. And I chopped up some cherry tomatoes, and what's really cool is that these are from our garden. It makes me so happy. We actually grew these, isn't that crazy? Um, we live in LA, and we have a small area on the side of our house that we put four raised beds, and we're growing a bunch of peppers and tomatoes. This is our third year. 
So it's super exciting to eat your own food. I highly recommend it, even if you just grow some herbs if you live like in an apartment or something. So let's get this served. And I can smell the cilantro, which is, smells amazing. Mix about two servings, or you could do, mm, yum. Or you could do like a bunch of little tiny little cups and do like a starter if you're having a bunch of people, or double the recipe. So let's garnish. I'm gonna start with the pepitas. And then I'm gonna layer on some of the tomatoes. So pretty. Put a red one there. And then I've got some microgreens. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit up there. And a little more pepper. A little bit of salt on top. And I always add red pepper. You'll find that most of my recipes, I add this red pepper. It's a Syrian pepper that I get at a Syrian market here in town. Okay, and then the last thing, optional, I'm gonna just put a little bit of zest. Lemon zest, just to make it pop, the flavor on top. Yum, 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 yum. So here's my soup. Does that look pretty? It's a really pretty presentation. Before I take a bite, because then I won't be able to talk, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you want to print out this recipe, go to chickfoodtv.com and you can print it there. If you want to read about our trip to Costa Rica, it's also on, I have a travel blog there about all the fun places I eat when we're traveling. And um, it's in the travel often section. And then of course, please follow me on Instagram and all my social accounts at chickfoodtv.com. Oh, and I want to do a quick shout out to all of our friends in Costa Rica. We love you, we miss you, and we'll see you in December. Mm. Very good. See you next time. Okay, so we're back. I didn't know you were rolling. Holy shit. Okay, I know you said it. I said rolling. I know. Okay.